Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm Jay Connor, your host and also known as the Private Money Authority. And I want to give you a special welcome if this is your first time to uh, tuning in to either on uh, our different platforms on iTunes or Google Play or our YouTube channels or Amazon Prime or Roku or wherever you may be tuning in from. Uh, we're mighty glad to have you. If this is your first time, we talk about all things real estate investing, including single family houses, commercial apartments, self storage, land, and all things that have anything to do with building wealth. And I've got a free gift for you for just for tuning in. And that is if you're looking for ways to fund your deals or get more funding for your deals without relying on your mortgage banker or your local banks or hard money lenders, I've got a free online class waiting for you right now. Go check it out after we get through with today's show at www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast. That's J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. Well, I got a couple of questions for you before we bring on our guest today. My first question is, is, are you still having a day job and you don't like your day job and you're really looking for a way to start building wealth, but you don't know where to start? Have you thought about investing in Wall Street or stocks or mutual funds, but you've heard stories about how volatile that is and you really don't know what to do or how reliable that is? Or have you also thought about the idea of being an entrepreneur and starting or owning your own business, but you really don't know how to start that up. And so how about being plugged into a group and a community that can really put you on the path to saving a ton in taxes, starting to build your wealth for the long term, and getting to a point to where your money is actually working for you instead of you working for your money. Well, with that, if you've been tuning into the show, you know I've had amazing and I have amazing guests come on here and today is no different. I'm so excited to have my friends, Russ Morgan and Joey Muir come here on the show and they are the leaders of this group and community that is also known as Wealth Without Wall Street. So with that, welcome to the show, Russ and Joey. Jay, thank you for having us. We're glad to be here. Yeah, Jay. Thanks. Yeah, Joey and I love to come on shows like this and glad to kind of reconnect after visiting with you a couple months back. Yeah, we're in a mastermind together where we met out in Birmingham, Alabama with other amazing people. And so before we actually get into who and what Wealth Without Wall Street is, of course, I gave a couple of teasers there as we brought you on. Joey, why don't we start with you? I'll put you on the spot. We'll give Russ a couple of seconds to think about it. So Joey, why are you qualified to talk about what you're going to talk about on today's show? I'll tell you what, Jay, you don't have to be in the banking industry long to realize what's going on behind closed doors is really something that everybody else in the world needs to understand. The banking function is happening right before our eyes. I mean, when you drive downtown, you see the biggest buildings in the city. Who are they? They're the banks, right? That's right. Well, I worked for one of the largest banks in the country in the mortgage side, and I learned the, the value and the power of being the lender. He who has the gold makes the rules, as my, one of my mentors, Nelson Nash, said. And so through some different things, actually, I was Russ's client for a long time. I learned some things from him that I said, man, people need to know the power of being the bank, of being the lender and taking that function back from these big banks. Not that they're, they're bad, but they're smart. We need to mimic what they're doing. So that's what I bring to the table today. Well, now just to make sure that our audience is tuned into what you just said. So do you have to have, does a person have to have a lot of capital sitting on the sidelines to, to become the quote unquote bank? 
Well, I think if they've been listening to your show for any amount of time, they know that that's not true. Exactly. Exactly. So Russ, tell us your background and story and what is it that brought you to Wealth Without Wall Street? Yes, yeah, so you asked kind of what, why am I qualified to talk about wealth without Wall Street? Well, first I had to be on Wall Street in order to do that. So I, I had all of the securities licenses. I was a certified financial planner for a number of years. And I totally had no idea why the stock market crashed in 2008. Just like everyone else, I was sitting there with my palms up to the sky saying, what happened? What's going to keep it from happening again? And the answer kept coming back, I don't know. And that just was not good enough for me. And I noticed that as I was working with people for a number of years, I got into the financial industry in 04. And I knew that the people who really had money either were in real estate, they owned their own businesses, or were doing what Joey was saying, was doing private lending on the side. And any money that they dabbled in in the, in the market usually was because of some job that they had had at one time where they acquired money in some IRA or 401k. And I just decided, hey, I, there's no reason for me to reinvent the wheel. Businesses and things, real estate and things like that have been around since the beginning of time. Why don't I learn more about those areas? Why don't I take that and start running with it? So for the last, I don't know, what is that, 11, 12 years now, we've been learning and teaching people of how do you stop trading time for money? How do you act like the people who actually have money? And whether you have it to start off with or not, ultimately start acquiring it. And what we really want is real wealth. We want real assets. We want to pass along a legacy. We want to be in control. And, and those all things happen whenever you do these things. I know you all have got different ways that you educate and coach the members of your community. And I know one really powerful way is uh, you've got a new app that you all launched just a few short months ago. And I've got it myself and using it on my uh, phone as well. But I know it's got a ton of information on it and techniques and strategies and ways that people can save a lot of money and can make a lot of money. And I just want to let everybody know that this regular charge for this app is 400 bucks a year. But here in a few minutes at the end of the show, you're going to give them a way to get this app downloaded to their phone absolutely for free. Is that right? That's right, Jay. And really, it comes down to we want to give back to people that are like-minded. We want to provide a place where people can safely go in without getting sold a bunch of things and realize, okay, I may not be clear on exactly what my path is going to be, but I know it's not Wall Street. If you can know that, you can know that this is the place to start that journey and say, okay, well, maybe it is in starting build by Amazon business. Maybe it's short-term rentals like Airbnb. Maybe it's lending or maybe it's flipping land or, or many, many other courses and things like that. So we want to provide a place for like-minded people to join up and learn from one another and learn from those courses. And you're obviously your audience is going to fall right in line with that. All right. Perfect. So everybody be sure and stay tuned the next few minutes to the end of the show. And Russ and Joey will give out that information as to how you can take advantage of that free app and, and get all of that edu education that they continue to put into the app. Now, one thing that you all talk about and that I've heard you talk about when we first met is there are ways that you all coach and train people on how to increase their certainty. Of course, we know nothing's guaranteed, but how to create certainty in their financial future. And you all talk about there being five pillars of wealth without Wall Street. Now, in my real estate investing business, I've got four pillars that I practice and I coach people on. That's finding deals, funding deals, flipping deals, and then freedom or automating the business. But you've got five pillars of wealth without relying on Wall Street. And I like the phrase at the end, or the words you've got there at the end of that phrase, without Wall Street, because everybody out there knows about and has heard about the volatility of Wall Street, the risk involved. I mean, my stepmother, for example, when the crash came, when the last crash came along, it scared her to death. Mm. When the Dow Jones, and she's a retired professor, from the North Carolina University system. 
And when the crash came along, the Dow Jones dropped all the way down to barely over 6,000. Mm -hmm. And out of fear, she sold everything that she had. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people have had that kind of experience. So I'm excited that you all have got this platform that coaches people on how to build their wealth without relying on Wall Street. So what are those five pillars? Well, Jay, I'm going to let Joey share the five pillars, but I, to kind of set that up, I want to make sure it, it kind of gives it structure. So there, there's an old um, philosophy that, that we probably learned if you, if you took psychology at all at any point in college or, or did any research on it, you may have read this old philosophy. It's called Maslow's Hierarchy of Need. You ever heard about that, Jay? At Wake Forest University a few <laughs> decades ago. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm not going to teach anybody too deep on this subject matter because that was a class that I, I, I spent as little time as possible in with my, my business background. <laughs> but I had to go through it and I learned like everybody else that there was this tiered approach to, to motivation, right? With At the very baseline, very bottom of his hierarchy of needs was food. Above that was shelter, then there was relationships, then there was steam, and then at the top is this self-actualization, right? Reaching our highest potential. Well, we started looking at this, and we, we realized that there was a hierarchy of wealth, or at least there should be. And this kind of prepared us as we were creating the five pillars of Wealth Without Wall Street. We said, you know, if we're going to do this, we need to follow some approach. We need to follow a motivation level where we should have at least the baseline before we have a motivation to jump up to the top. And I, and I thought about this because of my background and training as a certified financial planner, most people would come to me and have no personal finance, financial education at all, but yet they all own things that we, we would say at the very top of the pyramid, which would be stocks, mutual funds, and bonds and things like that. Now we would say at the very top of the pyramid is the things that, it's okay to acquire them, but it shouldn't be the first things. Those are the things that have the least amount of control, but the greatest amount of risk. And so if we were ad addressing this from a hierarchy standpoint, we say well, you ought to have cash at the bottom. Then you should go to controlled assets on top of that. And then you should build things on top of that that would be collateralized before you ever got to the top of that pyramid, which would be things that you don't control, that don't have collateral which would be more like stocks and bonds. And so from that, we said, all right, well, if we're going to build these five staples, these five pillars, we need to go at it from that philosophy. What is the baseline? What is the things that everybody needs to build and then build things that are stable based upon those controllable and collateral bases? So with that in mind, you know, as well as I do, how do you have cash? You got to first kind of wrangle in cash flow. And I think these are where we answer questions like, how much should I put towards paying down my debt, right? Or is, is this the best way to pay down this debt? Or how should I set up my mortgage on my primary residence? There's questions like that in coaching that can help you free up more of your cash flow to build more savings. Or how about tax strategies? Like, man, I know something is wrong here. I'm paying too much in taxes. I just can't really put my thumb on it okay, well, we need to coach on what tax strategies are out there that are age old that we just need to take advantage of. Things like that, that then once we really get the unnecessary expenses and, and cash flows that are going away from us to come back towards us, now we have more savings. And as we've talked about, Jay, you and I actually, whenever I was driving you around Birmingham, when you and your beautiful bride and, and Lou, we had a great time here. We were talking about this strategy. The second pillar is using specifically designed life insurance as a savings tool. We use that. It's the infinite banking concept. I'm sure people have heard this. It's a, somebody here in Birmingham, Nelson Nash, our mentor, created this. He wrote the book, Become Your Own Banker. And this is the second step is once we've really identified cash flows, now we can save them aggressively. We can start to save more of our cash and then deploy it into the other three pillars. And those three pillars would be businesses, because that's a, something that we can control, right? When we own a business, now we can affect the outcomes with marketing, with hiring, with things like this, if we can manage it correctly. And then we can be, you can even make that a passive asset at some point 
as it sounds like your, your fourth pillar talks about freedom, right? So businesses would be a third pillar. Fourth pillar would be real estate. As you know, that takes on tons and tons of different shapes and sizes, but real estate is an incredible way. And then the last pillar, the fifth pillar would be private lending. So those are our five pillars. And that's what we're inviting people into a community to learn at their own pace amongst people that are like-minded that they can say, what's worked for you? Well, this is what's working for me. And how did you handle this issue? And how did you handle that issue? And in hearing the best information all in one place. Well, I tell you, I love, I love your platform and this community that you've formed because you have like a buffet, <laughs> if you will, <laughs> of all these different options that you train and coach on and people can sort of, I suppose, a la carte, choose what really fits their scenario, their personal situation and what really resonates with them. Well, and it really comes down to this. You're exactly right. It comes down to this. We want to have experts in each one of these things. Russ and I do not pretend to be experts in real estate. If you want to see a bad real estate deal, we have plenty to share. <laughs> So we're not experts in those. That's why we have guys like you, Jay, in our community who can help somebody really invest in themselves to go deep in that genre. If they say, man, I love this niche of private money. I, well, who do you want to talk to? You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to Russ. You want to talk to Jay Connor. He's in the community. That's the person who you need to invest with your time, your energy, and even into courses and other things that can really propel you in that, in that place. Because our third aspect of Wealth of That Wall Street, one, it's take control, two, it's pick a path, and three, get there faster. So how can we get there as fast as possible? We have to work with the experts. So that, that's the whole idea behind bringing the, the people that everybody needs to know. And like you said, they can pick and choose but ultimately they're getting the best of the best. That's awesome. So as we promised, or as you all promised, you got a way for folks to get this $400 gift. And that is your app where they can start seeing the kind of education and coaching that you have. So if you would go ahead and tell everybody how they can take advantage of that. And after that, I got one more question for you for this show. All right. Yeah. Just go to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com slash J Connor. That's J Y C O N N E R. If you don't know that, you probably just look at your phone, right? The podcast you're listening on, you probably can figure that out. But that's Wealth Without Wall Street. That's all spelled out. Street is S T R E E T, not S T. And that's uh, slash J Connor. And from there, you'll get access to our app. And Download it on your phone. You can do that in any app store. And I just encourage you when you're in there, just, just take a look at the courses that are available. We have tons of free stuff. We have people that are, are, are just sharing their information and insight in all of these areas that Joey just went through. And then from there, you can pick that path and go as deep as you want to in areas. And I'll, I'll add one little thing here. Just one, this just happened this past weekend when we were at a conference. And this is the power. Okay, this is what I feel like is, is for somebody that's sitting there and hearing this and saying, man, I do want a path out of whatever it is that I'm doing. Just this past weekend, we were at a conference and one of our clients was there and he was a guy that's driving an excavator every day. Okay, so imagine he's got a little bit of time on his hands. He's listened to our podcast. He starts listening to this. This is less than two years ago. He calls us up. He actually sets up one of these policies that we're talking about to, to start saving cash because he said, man, this is much better than my savings account. I got to do this. So he gets that in place. And shortly thereafter, he starts engaging in the community and learns this strategy on land flipping. He's now engaged with that since March. And within that time frame, from March till today, he's created over $2,700 of free cash flow, setting these notes up per on these oh, per month, excuse me, per month on these land flipping deals to the point where he's expecting his third child. And when his wife is supposed to go back to, to work after that, she's a nurse. He, his hope and his, his dream 
is that she won't have to because he's replaced her nurse income with this land flipping strategy that now he's become an expert in in a very short amount of time. So that that's kind of the the hope for us is that we're we're seeing more and more results just like his that people can hear and and again go down the path and get there as fast as possible. Well, Russ, a moment ago you reminded folks about Maslow's hierarchy. Yep. And and what was and we know the first one was food. What was the top one? The top one is self actualization. Yeah, which my word for that is significance. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. So, so my hat is off to you and Joey for having an actual significant platform that people can take advantage of. So my last question is, is, is give people just a little bit more information. We've only got like a minute left, but give people just a little bit more information about what is this infinite banking concept? How can banking be infinite? <laughs> well, <laughs> infinite is imagination, right? There, there's no way to define infinite. Our, our minds allow for it. And I think your platform and what you talk about all the time is teaching people how to get private money. That you don't have to have money in order to do this. But we do on, on our our kind of hierarchy of wealth. We're teaching cash flow and then ultimately building up access and cash in these life insurance contracts. Not the life insurance policies that our grandparents own, not the ones that sold to us by State Farm or Northwestern Mutual. Not to say there's anything bad with those companies, but that's insurance. We're literally building up cash in a, in a pool of money that we can access and use for our investing deals. And so we, we use the term that was coined by a man named Nelson Nash on a book called Becoming Your Own Banker. We always encourage people to, to go out and find that on Amazon or wherever you, you get your books from, but that's a great tool that teaches this avenue of how to use cash values in order to be your banking system. And ultimately it became for me and Joey, the place that we run all of our cash through before we go and deploy it in the different investments and things that we're using our money for. And, and Jay, just, just so you know, within the community, we have significant courses and assets that explain this in a lot more detail, as you can imagine. It's, sure. it's not as simple as, you know, a minute or two on the podcast. So we've, we've created courses so people can take it at their speed. We've got all sorts of case studies and things like this that people can see and say, okay, this is how it applies to my situation or not. Nobody's going to call you. Nobody's going to bother you. It's your own pace. And if you do get to a point where it makes sense, then uh, we'll hopefully give you next steps from there. But that's where we welcome folks to get into the app and check out those courses if they have any interest in. Well, one more time, how do they get the free app? Yeah, they're going to go to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com forward slash J Connor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R. You got it. You got it. Russ, final comments, parting comments. Man, Jay, I'm just excited to be around uh, other abundant minds and Look forward to continuing to interact with you on the community, and it's, thanks for having us on here. All right, Joey. Man, I, I love the fact that we are all under the Wealth Without Wall Street umbrella. You know, you're, you're, the folks that are listening to you are picking a path, and they are getting there hopefully as fast as possible, and they're listening to you. And I, I'm, I'm grateful to have you as a part of our community and helping other folks get there as well. Well, I'm grateful for you all, and I'm so excited that you all have got this platform launched. So, Joey and Russ, thank you so much for coming here on the show. And everybody, I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. And here's to taking your investments to the next level. We'll see you on the next show. Bye for now.